By the mid-1950s, scientists had developed most of the technology to make launching a nuclear warhead a reality, with one exception. The rocket needed some type of thermal protection to get the warhead back through the Earth's extreme atmospheric temperatures. At that time, no known material could withstand the temperatures. In 1956, the Army Ballistic Missile Agency in Huntsville, Alabama, began testing materials using the concept of ablation. The nose cone would be covered with material in thick layers that would melt or burn away during re-entry. As the material vaporized, the solid turned into a gas, taking the heat away with it. Basically, the material was put there with the purpose of burning away a good portion of the surface so that the payload would not burn. This technology was so effective, it was later used on the heat shields of spacecrafts and was the reason astronauts survived re-entry and returned to Earth safely.